there's two kinds of actors. There's actors who like go in really small and they start building up their performance and they build it up and they build it up. And then there are other actors who come in and they're really big and they start whittling away. And, um, and that I think that's the kind of movie that we made. I think we whittled away all the stuff that wasn't uh, absolutely necessary. And then we had Roman's grandmother to please. I heard him tell this story on the internet the other day where you know it had to be explainable to his grandmother, which is just brilliant. Do you know what I mean? Because we wanted people to see this who had never seen Nightmare on Elm Street. Mm -hmm. And now that has come true. We're dealing with a whole audience when uh, consciousness of sound, I think, you know, that was a big test for us. Um, and the were like huge hit with them. And they want to interview us, live podcast us and all that kind of stuff. And that's just, that is not horror. That's just straight on full on music sort of. Um, I think it's sort of like Rolling Stone used to be. I'm not really sure. But yeah, so yeah, so it's exactly what I wanted it to be. Although I didn't, I mean, I knew in my mind what it was going to be. But knowing in your mind and actually getting there is... Uh, you know, a far country. It's, uh, it's, we're very, I'm very lucky out there. Let's put it that way. Hi, this is Heather Langenkamp from A Nightmare on Elm Street, and you're listening to WithoutYourHead.com. <laughs> 